Do your UI designs look like this, but you want them to look more like this? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna take that first design that you saw, which is a design that I made when I was a beginner, and we're gonna apply some UI design fundamentals to it to get to that second version. So by doing this, I'm gonna show you how to rapidly improve your UI design skills. So let's get into it and cut over to the Figma file. So here's the design that we're gonna be working with. As you can see, started from very humble beginnings. This design is really just terrible. And it's terrible for a few main reasons. The first reason is that the, the font sizing throughout this page is way too big. The alignment of elements on the page is off and not really working. This whole background color and just overall use of color is not working. And there is no clear hierarchy of elements on the page. So we're gonna go through and fix some of that. So I'm gonna start by duplicating this page here and calling this after so we can see the progress. And the first thing that I'm, I'm gonna do is to lengthen the screen because this is a little bit short for modern phone size. So I'm gonna pull all this down so that's a little bit closer to a modern iPhone now. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is get rid of this background color and image because th this is really not working. I was trying to be a, a little bit too fancy here and it did not work. So I'm going to take both of these out and just use a nice neutral black color for the background. So one shade of black that works well is the hex code 181718. All right, now that is already working a whole lot better. The next thing I'm gonna do is change all the the font color around so it, it's white and works in the background. All right, so color's changed. And the next thing is I'm using a typeface here or, or a font, you can kind of use that, that term interchangeably, that isn't really like nice and modern. I'm using Roboto, but that, that's kind of like a, it has a little bit of a dated look to it. So I'm gonna change this to Poppins. I'll jump ahead that typeface change. All right, so everything has been changed to Poppins. That's a, a nice typeface for like modern interfaces. Uh, you'll see this across the web pretty commonly. So now this threw off the alignment of everything, but what I'm gonna go do now is reduce all the font sizes because that's a big problem in this design. All of the font sizing is way too large. So first what I'm gonna do is start with the, the calendar. Um, so I think we're using a mix of like size 18 and 20 font here. I think if we change all of this to size 12, that's gonna work a little bit better. And that's what I'll do and cut right ahead. All right, so everything has been reduced to 12. Look how much better this looks immediately. This brought all the numbers up to the same line. So now we have a, a much more, more clean looking calendar here. The next thing I wanna tackle is this whole top section is not looking good at all. Um, so we, we have some UI and UX issues here. First, we have the time, which doesn't need to be there. It's redundant with the, the time that you'd see on the phone. It's kind of strange to have weather here on a calendar app. So what I'm gonna do is just change this whole top section to just a larger version of today's date. So I'm gonna take this out and change this to February 19, 2023. And I think making this bold is gonna look pretty good here. Maybe make this a little bit, yeah. Keep that as size 24. And maybe move this over a little bit. So now we have a much more clear hierarchy, large title at the top, and then smaller elements down below it. That's usually like a, a general rule that we're gonna follow on a good UI. We have like one thing that stands out and then smaller elements or copy down below it. I think we can also get rid of the lines in the calendar here, because if we have everything lined up properly, those lines won't really be necessary. 
And usually on, on modern calendar apps, they, they don't have the, the lines here. So I'll jump ahead to uh, taking these out. Okay, so no more lines. And I want a more clear distinction between the days of the week at the top here and the specific numbers of the days down below. So I'm going to make all of these into a bold weight. So that provides, that makes it a little bit more readable. And then the next thing I want to do is line up this whole calendar properly. So I, I think the way we're going to want to do this is first create a little bit more space on the edges. And then we want all of the, the padding between the numbers to be even across. And since the width of the numbers is a little bit different depending on the day, whether it's one or two numbers, a trick I like to use is to just draw a box like this. And then we're just going to line up everything by boxes kind of like this. So the way that I'm thinking about alignment is we're going to start with the top for each column. We will even draw a line over like this with the ruler. And then we're just going to line up all of the numbers with that line based on the, this top letter. So I'll go through and do this and jump ahead. All right, so now everything is aligned with all of these guides that I made. So now I'm gonna take these out and I'm gonna line up this copy at the top with our... This. I also wanna show a more clear way of showing what day it is here on the calendar. So just, I'm gonna simply add a circle behind this number here. Okay, circle has been added, so now we clearly see what day it is. And now what I'm gonna do is start working on making this bottom section look a little bit better. So this, this whole copy here saying the 22nd should not be aligned like this and have something center aligned and then having something aligned to the left down below. So I'm going to align all of this together. I don't think that this needs to say the 22nd down below. So I'm just going to write, well, we don't need this spacing between the letters either. So I'm going to change that. And then we don't need this line if we're good hierarchy in our, our typography. And then I'm going to make this size 12. And now we can do something nice with this copy. So I, I think what I'm going to do is have the name of the event be large, and then I'm going to have a time frame down below it and have that be a little bit smaller. So here's what I will do. And then the next thing I want to do is have more of a distinction between this copy above and this copy. So I'm going to add icons next to, to these to show what kind of event it is. I pulled some in from off screen. So I'm just going to, and now I want to make this a different color to add a nice color pop to this page and start making this look a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to make this a blue background. One blue that I like is this hex code three E six, six F a. All right, so that's looking a little bit better. So look at how much better this design is looking already. And to also add another color pop to this page, I wanna add a button here that allows the user to add to their schedule. So I'm gonna draw that down below. All right, we have our button. And to keep some font sizing consistent, I'm gonna use the same size font that we have here as our button copy. So I'm just gonna duplicate this, bring it into the button, and I'm gonna write add to 
schedule. All right. So I would say for the sake of this demonstration, this design is almost done. I think we can add a little color pop here and make this 22, the same color blue that we're using here. And then I'm gonna make this bold to make that particular day stand out. So there you have it. Before and after, we now have a, a much, much cleaner design. Looks way better than before, just by fixing some of those those problems with typography, spacing, and color, and hierarchy, we're really able to achieve a lot with this design and make it look much better. So I hope that's helpful. Um, if you have any questions about this particular design or UI design in general, please leave it in the comments below and I will get back to you shortly. Thanks for watching.